Hi everyone, Hi, Pretty Case. Today I'm going to do a hair care routine video, like what products I use, because so many of you have asked recently, like what products I use to make my hair shiny, and um, <clears throat> excuse me, when I did my hair, like how I style my hair routine, a lot of you are like, what products do you use? So I'm going to do an updated version because the last time I did one was back in April, May time, and I have changed the products that I've been using. I realised I just said about products about 60,000 times, so I'm going to get on with it. So first of all, I'm going to start off with what I use in the shower. Now, since my hair care routine video, I was trying to remember because I recorded it a few weeks ago, I'm pretty sure that I was washing my hair with the Tresemme Keratin range, which looks like this. And I have vlogged about this, I'm pretty sure I've mentioned this in a few favourite videos as well. But this is a really, really nice um, hair like shampoo and conditioning set it makes your hair really shiny really really soft and it doesn't create build up either because I hate it when you use products that are good for like making your hair feel really soft but they create a lot of build up so it's not great but um I found this was really nice to use and I really like using it I'm like basically this is basically empty now so I am using something else so the new shampoo that I'm using now is the Soap and Glory Glad Hair Day Daily Super Shampoo and the reason why I'm using this is because my mum absolutely raves about it she says that this is like the best shampoo ever and she told me one time that apparently Kay Middleton uses this. I don't know where she got that from but she said that she heard it or she read it somewhere so apparently Kate Middleton uses this shampoo as well according to my mum which is quite funny. Um, so yeah I've been using this and I really like it so far. It smells really really good and makes your hair feel really soft really clean and it also has a no build up formula so you don't have to ever um, switch shampoos which is quite good, so I've been really liking that, but to be honest, like, all Soap and Glory products I really really love, um, they're really really good value, you get a lot of product, and um, they're always just really really good quality. Now I do use a build up remover shampoo, not because the shampoos I use create build up, it's because I use a lot of dry shampoo, now if you watch my videos you'll already know this, I use dry shampoo basically every single day because I feel that it creates volume in your hair, and because I don't wash my hair like that often, I wash it twice, three times a week, depending on how it's looking. It means that when it comes around to washing my hair about once a week, maybe once every fortnight, I feel it's looking a bit meh, it needs like a good cleanse. So for that I use the Bumble and Bumble uh, BB Sunday Shampoo, and this is really good. I have to say, it's not one that you can use every single time you wash your hair because it would dry your hair out. It's amazing for literally giving your hair a really, really good cleanse. I find that after I use it on my hair, you can literally go like this and it goes eek, 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 it's squeaky clean. Um, so yeah, if I if my hair feels really built up because of dry shampoo, or I just feel like it just needs a good cleanse, sometimes it's just good to use a really good cleansing shampoo, even if your shampoo doesn't create build up, because it just feels really nice and makes your hair feel nice and refreshed. So I use that one. I know it's not the cheapest around. Um, Boots have started stocking Bumble and Bumble now, which is really, really exciting. I know that Boots do their own. Um, like a shampoo like this, I can't remember the name but I've never tried it but I've heard that it's a lot cheaper so if your budget doesn't really stretch to Bumble and Bumble it might be worth looking at that so yeah I use that too. Moving on to conditioner I am a big fan of like conditioning treatments and a lot of people say to me how do you get your hair so long and how do you keep it in such good condition and the one thing I always say just use loads and loads in conditioner. I've used loads and loads in conditioner ever since I was younger I always used to get told off by my mum because I would use up her Aussie 3 Minute Miracle. So um, I go through conditioner like a lot, lot quicker than I do shampoo because I use rucks of it. My current one that I'm using at the moment is the Dove Hair Therapy and this is the Express Treatment Conditioner. It looks like this. And I've used this before and I really like it. It's really thick, it's really creamy and it was half price on boots. So I was like, right, we'll give that another go. The only problem is you don't get very much. You get 180 mils. And um, I've used this about three or four times and I've basically almost finished it, so I do need to get one that's a bit bigger, but I've been really liking using it, I basically lather it all onto my hair and I find it makes it really, really soft and really, really shiny. Because I find the fact that I do use a lot of dry shampoo, it can dry my hair out quite a bit, and also you all know that I use my heated rollers basically every single day, so by using a lot of conditioner I kind of put the treat, like the, um, give it back some life basically, but the... Tresemme conditioner was also really really good too, but this one's my current one and I actually picked up just the normal Dove conditioner because this is like a treatment um, So I'll let you know how I got on with that. I haven't tried it yet, but I will 
let you know, but that's currently half price in boots, so it's like £1 something, which is a bit of a bargain. So when I get out of the shower, I find these next steps really, really important to my hair care routine. First of all, because I use my heated rollers, I need a heat protectant because obviously you don't want my hair to get really damaged and frazzled and I do usually tend to blow dry my hair too. So I use the Tresemme Keratin Smooth, this is the heat protection shine spray and the thing that I like about this, it's not amazing, you know, there probably is better ones out there but the thing I like about it is really, really light. I find that sometimes sprays can be really quite heavy and make your hair feel quite greasy. This is really, really light, it does the job. Um, so yeah, I've been using this and I really, really like it. So that's my current heat protectant of choice. And then, this is probably my favourite part of my whole hair care routine. And it's using a oil on my hair. Now, this is probably what makes my hair so shiny. A lot, a lot of you are like, how do you get it so shiny? These are probably the reason why. My two favourite ones at the moment are the L'Oreal Mythic Oil. I have blogged about this. I'm pretty sure I've mentioned this in loads of my videos. But... I literally cannot recommend this enough. It's a lot, lot cheaper than Moroccan oil. It's lighter, it smells amazing. It's just really, really nice. This one is quite hard to get hold of. I think you can get it from like Feel Unique. I got mine from Sally's Beauty Supply. Um, but yeah, like places like Feel Unique are probably your best bet to get it. Um, but yeah, I really, really like it. You literally need the tiniest amount and a little really does go a long way. So. That is amazing. And then also a recent new discovery is the Aldi Miracle Oil. Now as you can tell it is basically a dupe for Moroccan oil. But the best it is it's £3.99 which is amazing. So this is what it looks like. It's absolutely amazing. It doesn't smell as good as Moroccan oil but it does the job. It makes your hair feel really soft and really shiny. So depending on what my hair's feeling like I do tend to use both of these. I have got Moroccan oil. I don't tend to use it that often. I only use it if my hair um, feels like it needs a really, really good treatment. Like sometimes my hair will feel really, really dry. And I find Moroccan oil is a lot thicker than the both of these. So I kind of put some of that in to give it a real nourishing treatment. But to be honest, that happens about once a month. And usually I turn to one of these. And of course they're a lot, lot cheaper, which is always really, really good. Once I've like blow dried my hair and stuff onto like the style and like set of things... So I mentioned that I always use dry shampoo and these are my current favourites. I've never used anything other than Batiste before but a lot of people were talking about the super drug one so I was like right I'm going to give them a go and I'm really really glad that I did. I got three for £1.99 which is a bit of a bargain and I got the chocolate brownie one which is amazing. It does, it like comes out brown and you go to put your fingers in and it makes your fingers brown. So if that's not your kind of thing then I would stick to the normal ones but I really like it. There's no grey powdery nose, that's the thing I didn't like about Batista, it always made my hair look really really grey, which always looks really really odd, um, but yeah it's really good, it does the job, and I really like the other one too, this one basically comes out clear rather than grey, which I love, because that's like my pet hate with shampoos, and yeah it does the job, people have said that the smell is too overpowering for them, personally I like the smell, I quite like heavy scents, um, so it might be worth maybe giving it a bit of a spray in Superdrug when no one's looking. But I really like these. I know they're probably not for everyone, but um, dry shampoo isn't for everyone. But they're my current favourites and they're a lot, lot cheaper than Batiste. So um, definitely worth a try. So I think, the I don't know if the offer's still on. When I went and bought them it was buy one, get two free for one ninety nine. So if you don't like them it's only £2. It's not the end of the world. Um, my favourite hairbrush is the Tangle Teaser, which is looking a bit manky, I do need to get a new one. This is amazing for um, if your hair gets quite naughty like mine does, it just makes brushing it so much easier. You can use it on wet hair, dry hair, so this is like a godsend if you've got long thick hair. And then finally my hairspray of choice is the L'Oreal Elnet one, and this is the Supreme Hold Infinite Shine. It does the job basically, it's the best hairspray I've ever used, it makes sure that my hair stays in place all day um, and it doesn't feel all sticky and clammy, I hate hairspray that feels, feels all like sticky and crispy so this is amazing, I'm really excited about the new Elnet sprays that L'Oreal are re like released and I haven't really read too much into them yet but they just look amazing so um i'll definitely be buying them once they hit the shop so that's my hair care routine that's all the products that i use on it on a daily basis and um yeah that's basically it so i think i've pretty much covered everything but if you've got any more questions at all about what i use you will know the hair tools that i use because i featured them in videos 
um, then please let me know either in the comments below or tweet me at Dizzy Brunette Free. To be honest, tweeting me is the best way to ever ask if you've got a question to ask me because I can be a bit bad with my emails um, because obviously it's quite hard to keep on top of them and sometimes I'm a bit lazy when it comes to being on YouTube answering comments because I don't go on my laptop that much very, very much these days. So um, if you've got like a burning question, it would be best to tweet me. I put like my username down below because I'm always on my iPad so um, it's just much easier. So yeah, I hope you are all good and um, yeah, I'll see you soon. Bye.